welcome to my studio it is sunday sunday has arrived it is 7 55 in the morning yes 7 55 in the morning been down here a little while now but not a little while like an hour or anything like that probably about 20 minutes but uh, about to have my cup of tea and um, thought i'd jump on board and tell you what i'm up to today today i'm going to trace out the pattern to uh, the next make in my makes i've down two four to go this is number three so i am making i think i was making c or b i want to make a shorter one i don't want to make a, a longer one i want a short like little chanel jacket it is a um easy felicy something or other in french i think it's french facile Yep, I think it's, I think it is B, A, what's A? I think it's that one. That's the one I think I like. I have some trimming and stuff. Do you want to see the fabric? I can show you the fabric. I've had this fabric picked out for a while. Oh, I should go get the fabric. Talk amongst yourselves. Santa, that was just me pulling this out. So the fabric is that. It's like a chocolate brown. Look great with denim jeans, wouldn't it? It's got a little bit of a bling, a little bling bling in it. Just a little bit of sparkle. I don't know. Yeah, I can pick up that sparkle looking at it. So that's what I'm making it with. And if I got the trim, the trim is this chocolate, chocolate. And I do have some frogs that I thought could work oh there's my little frogs that's got a little sparkle inside the frog as well it's all about the bling so as for the dress still got no arms it's armless but i am going to do the facing yesterday i spent the day um with my kids um they were 17 yesterday where did that come from and we had cake and we had food we played monopoly in the sun down on the deck it was really good we thought today was going to be a good day but it's kind of clouded over so um it might not be a good day so um so queenie and i've come down here and um we're gonna hang i'm gonna do finish off some of the dress probably get in the sleeves i've got to let it hang it's been hanging now for a couple of days and I can already see the dropping of the biased area. And then once that sits there, I might, um, I don't know if I want to do the buttonholes before it drops properly. Yeah, why not, right? So I'll probably do that. And yeah, I can't wait to put it on and, and twirl and whirl it for you guys. Actually, I was saying to Queenie that um, it would make a good looking coat add long sleeves instead of short sleeves could you imagine it wait until you see the lining that's all i'm going to say about that anyway so i'm going to go now and i'm going to get to tracing out my pattern for my chanel i'll pop on another poll for the last three items um i think i can see in my in my near future pair of pedal pushes coming up because that was second on the um agenda but at 53 or 54 on the poll definitely was the chanel jacket i'll get that finished um had a very 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 busy week this week um a lot of lawyer talk a lot of other talk um and oh what the hay i'll tell you because i'm excited my mother's house is sold that is unconditional now so um and the property she has purchased still doesn't have a code of compliance but um i've had to negotiate with lawyers and everyone else to get her in the property at the time the only reason it hasn't got code is because 30 years ago when it was built the builder and the developer were a bit of jack arses and didn't follow through with all the stuff they're meant to do and because it's cladding sorry dad i know it's got cladding you've seen them though you like them 
and um so yes yeah, so she'll be moving on the 29th of november out of her house into her new forever home which is very exciting and it is just it's still just down the road from me so um drink driving distance just kidding um so she lives a minute currently away in a car um i'm gonna say it's pretty much a minute and a half now so and it's close to all all her things she needs including the train the bus her hairdressers the doctors new world so it's just the perfect perfect place for her so pretty happy and hopefully that's one stress removed factor for her yeah so pretty stoked so that's what i've kept under wraps for a while we just not didn't want to jinx it we just um mum just wasn't ready to tell the world yet and yeah well i've told the world so <laughs> no um i think with it all been unconditional and um happy happy that i can say it now and if i can't sorry mum but yay you got your house excellent i'll catch you guys later um stay well stay dry stay warm and above all keep cool and keep on sewing thanks see ya